Hello everybody. Okay, so today, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be going over the new Smashbox palette, the Full Exposure palette. I actually just got it yesterday. I did open it up to take a picture of it, um, but I have not even swatched it or anything like that. The colors are just beautiful. So I wanted this to be a kind of first impressions, and I'm not going to do a tutorial or anything like that yet. Um, with the palette, but I just wanted to go ahead and swatch it, see how buttery the colors are, or, you know, how pigmented they are, all that good stuff. So, first and foremost, a little bit about the palette. Um, it does come with the bonus full exposure mascara, which obviously is a little deluxe size, and it does come with a double-ended brush. Um, it says one for shimmer, and then one for matte. So, this looks like a shading brush, and then this is just to pack on the color is what it looks like to me is what I will probably use it for. You do not have to use it for exactly what it says. So opening it up, it does come with a little booklet. So it just opens up like this. And the booklet has, um, this is supposed to be like for your shape of eyes, what the best look for it is. So as you can see, it has like the almond eyes, the round eyes, the up upturned eyes, downturned eyes, whatever eyes, and hooded eyes. So it has all types of eye shapes and then what best day look, night look, and defined look. So to, to define the look of your eyelids, what's good for the daytime and the nighttime. So it has this little poster type of thing. Um, I don't know about you, but all of the booklets and everything that palettes come with, I never even look at them. So, I mean, this is great for people that do want to get some looks and want to accentuate their eye shape and everything like that. This would be a really good thing for you to uh, look over because it has pretty much every type of um, eye shape that you, anybody would have. So this is what the Full Exposure Mascara looks like, just a mini size like I said. And the brush, I haven't even seen it, so it looks like this. That's the brush for you. I have never tried this mascara, and honestly I haven't really even heard too much about it. But, um, I mean I love Smashbox, so we'll see. Okay, so the packaging looks like this, and as you can see, it's kind of like the the holographic or whatever you want to call it, that little multicolor thing. It has Smashbox Full Exposure, and the packaging feels like NARS packaging, the rubbery, the rubberish type of thing. So let's go ahead and open it up. So it does have the protectant film on it. It does not have any of the colors on it. This palette doesn't really have color names. It just has, um, if you can see, it has shimmer matte and then s1 s2 as in shimmer one shimmer two matte one matte two just like that so there are 14 shades in this and then they're all just labeled either s1 or m1 um, as the rows go so the brush looks like this let me take it out of the thing so it says smashbox right here and then you have this brush right here as for blending and then this brush is the white part and then this is the black one so I'm guessing this is for the matte to pack on the matte and then this is to pack on the shimmer so they're both synthetic very 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 soft and it actually feels like a really good brush like you'd be able to uh, use this brush and not just toss it to the side. So I'm really excited about the brush and for blending brushes, yay. I know I, as you guys know, I need another one. So there's the brush. Now to, well, really quickly, it does have a mirror right here. I don't want to blind you, but this is what it looks like before it's swatched. So as you can see, I am not lying. I have not swatched it. Um, I don't even want to swatch it now looking at it. But let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the top shimmer shades. So I'm going to go from S1 to S7. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch them all for you right here. And then get a little close up. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and do the matte after. So let's start off with S1. Okay, so yeah, you can definitely feel the glitter particles in it as you would any other shimmer shade or glitter or anything like that. You can definitely feel it. So they're not too smooth. Um, at least the first two aren't. The third one actually feels a little bit smoother. So does the fourth. And these are just beautiful colors. I know I'm swatching it on my hand, but I will definitely 
uh, get a close-up really quick right now. I just want to go ahead and swatch these so I'm not going back and forth to the palette and then the camera. So, okay, try to get you some good swatches right here. So, um, so this is S1, S2, S3, S4, which looks like a all over the cut, like all over lid. Honestly, I'd be using these for all over my lid. I wouldn't use any of them, you know, as an outer V or transition color, but you can use them for whatever. So this is um, S5, S6, and S7 right there. So it goes from the neutral, the browns, and then the, like the champagne type of colors. And then you got your gray and your gray, your black and gray type of color. So from what I'm looking at, it's like it's the corresponding, the matte, and then you got the shimmer of the same shade. So like how this is a darker brown, you got your shimmer shade. This is like a, you know, type of, what is that, beige color. You got your beige glitter. Um, type of you know tan and champagne and then you got your gray a little bit deeper gray and then your black you got a corresponding shimmer with that shade so um, the like I said you can feel the glitter um, when it comes to these first two right here you can you can feel the glitter a lot and then about these two right here they're a little bit more smoother than these are and then the last three go back to feeling the the you know specks and stuff like that of the glitter so they're not the smoothest glitter but I don't really think any glitters are smooth and I mean from the pigmentation and just the beautiful colors that this palette has I don't see why anybody would even have a problem with it the camera's really not picking up how beautiful these colors really are but they are very very gorgeous I love them so once again that's the first row of the s1 through 7 so the shimmer shades of the palette now going on to the matte let's go ahead and see how buttery these are so I'm going to do it on my other hand try to do a little bit better swatches because I know those swatches were not the business so these are very um not too buttery I've I've felt uh smoother shadows but they're not like harsh to the point where I'm like okay how am I even going to blend that out very very pretty they're very pigmented so you won't have to pack on the color to get the color payoff from the color that it looks like in the palette that's exactly what it shows off so I'm really this is like a neutral lovers palette like it's to me it's like the naked one naked two but combined in one which makes it even better okay you seriously have like everything for a neutral eye, smoky eye, everything in this palette. So right here is the um, second row of the M1 through M7. So this is that deeper brown that you have, the type of beige color. Uh, this is M3 and then M4, which is a, you know, off-white type of opal color. M5 is right here. I kind of went over it and M6 and M7. So these are not, like I said, not extremely smooth or buttery, um, but they don't seem like they're gonna be hard to blend whatsoever. Just like I said, the color pigmentation of this, I don't even feel like I'm going to have a problem with it. Just the colors alone and the, just the, you know, the looks that you can do with all of these colors, I feel like it's, going to be just a great overall neutral palette like I don't have enough neutral palettes right um but yeah this is a just amazing I love it I might not be like oh my gosh the swatches and everything like that but I mean swatches are a lot different from when you were you know if you were to apply it on your actual eyelid blend it out get a look and everything like that so here are all the swatches once again the shimmer shades the matte shades right here um, nothing seems chalky whatsoever. Nothing was actually powdery. I didn't get any fallout whatsoever through the whole palette. The only type of fallout that I gotten was if you can see this little, little bit on the, the fourth color right here. Um, but besides that, I mean, there's really, 
I didn't get any fallout. It's not chalky whatsoever. So I know that this palette is just going to be amazing. I really, really love it. Um, I will go ahead and link down below where you can find it at Sephora online and also Ulta um, online as well. So um, yeah, I'll link it online if you guys want to uh, check it out online, purchase it online, or actually just go to your local Sephora or Ulta. Um, this retails for $49.00. It's like I said, it comes with a double-ended brush, one for the matte, one for shimmer, and then you also, um, which is the first time I've ever seen this, like, a, you know, a double-sided, a double, like a double-double in one to where you got the shimmer and then you got the matte one. Um, brush and then you got your mascara now at Ulta now thinking about it. They didn't give me my um, Sample of the primer it was I was supposed to get a primer with any $30 Smashbox purchase and I had it in my head when I went to go purchase it But then when I actually went to Ulta to go get it. I was just so like oh my gosh I'm getting it. I totally forgot about that um, The sale actually just started Sunday because the catalog has that advertised in there the free Smashbox primer um, With any $30 purchase which this is over $30 so definitely if you guys go into Ulta make sure you do ask about that primer because I've heard the primer is amazing I actually don't have it um, which I wish I would have just asked them and you know remembered but definitely uh, check that out because they should have given it to me um, with with buying the palette it was over $30 so you could get two free things the, you know the mascara the primer you got your brush and a palette that is just amazing for only $49 that is just an awesome awesome deal well um, thank you guys for watching I will be doing a tutorial using this palette sometime in a the, the next week or so um, once I get it uploaded and edited and all that good stuff but until then um, I'm actually going to be uploading another video today so you'll be seeing the same outfit of my Mac limited edition lipsticks because I did do the video and everything and it just completely got deleted so I'm going to be doing that again well thank you guys once again hopefully you guys get a chance to pick this up it is not limited edition so you can pick this up at any time that's a great thing about it it's not limited edition you don't have to go run into the stores but if you do love your neutral colors and just beautiful palettes this is amazing just look at it one more time it is beautiful so um yeah thank you guys and i will talk to you guys later bye